Hello, everybody, and <laughs> welcome to Tuesday Story Time with Mandy and Oberon. Um, I am very happy to be with you today. Oberon is very happy that I have treats in my pocket that he can smell. Uh, so I'm hoping, since he hasn't wanted to do one of these videos lately, that this will keep him uh, here with us because we are actually going to be reading a couple of stories that we chose um, because uh, he has been having a hard time lately with um, our spring storms. Um, Oberon is very much afraid of thunderstorms. And um, I actually had two books set aside to uh, read to you all about thunderstorms. And um, since he had a rough night on, I think it was Sunday night, um, I thought that it would be a good time to read with him. <laughs> Sorry, he's licking my foot. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, <laughs> on that note, um, let's get started, shall we? Our first book is very specifically for Obi. Um, it's called Rufus and the Scary Storm. It's a book about being brave by Lucy Bell and illustrated by Michael Garten. And this is um, a frolic little steps big faith book and it comes from Spark House Bean books uh, that we know and love here. <gasps> Jillian, does that mean Jackson's with you? Hi. Okay, just a sec. Oh boy. Um, if so, hi. Um, if not, oh well. So, Rufus and the Scary Storm. Now, Oberon, I want you to pay attention to this one because you and Rufus are very similar. Okay. Rufus always tried hard to be brave. He liked to think he was the strongest, bravest puppy in the world. One day, Rufus was feeling especially strong. He lifted a giant branch above his head. His friends were impressed. You like to do that too, don't you? Yeah. You want to come back up on the bed? You might sleep less. There you go. Okay. Hey, guys, watch this, Rufus shouted. He held up two big rocks. We found out how much you like rocks when we were doing lead, didn't we? Yes. Okay. But his friends weren't paying any attention. Joe and Ava were, wa were staring up at the sky. Look, Rufus, Ava called out. The sky is getting dark. Joe pointed. Clouds are moving in. I think it's going to rain. It's going to rain over. Rufus looked up at the sky. It was getting dark. The clouds were moving in. And now the wind was howling too. Just then it thundered. Rufus covered his ears. Lightning flashed across the sky. Rufus closed his eyes tight. Rain started to fall. One drop landed right on Rufus's nose. More drops landed on his ears. It's getting scary, isn't it, Obi? Come on, Rufus, Ava yelled. We'd better get inside until this storm passes. Ava and Joe ran giggling towards the stable. Do you have friends who enjoy thunderstorms? Hmm? Maybe. 
Rufus ran after his friends, but he wasn't giggling. He was whimpering. Rufus hated storms. I know you're yawning, pretending that you're bored, but you really hate storms too. Yeah. Ava and Joe settled down into the ground in the stable to wait for the storm to pass. Joe started to juggle some pebbles. Ava grabbed a stick to draw in the dirt. But Rufus couldn't play. He cowered in the corner. <laughs> Outside the... <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Please don't go. It's okay. Do you need to go get some water? You okay? Okay. Rufus couldn't play. He cowered in the corner. Outside, the rain kept falling, the lightning kept flashing, and the thunder kept crashing. Yeah, I know. Every, every time the thunder crashed, Rufus's whole body would tremble. He looked at his friends. How can you play right now? He asked. Aren't you afraid of the storm? I'm not afraid of storms, said Ava, but I am afraid of other things, like crossing the stream. I don't want to fall in and get wet. Me too, said Joe. I don't like climbing up high. I'm afraid to fall. Hmm, what are you afraid of? I think we're all afraid of something, aren't we? And that's okay, it's okay to be afraid. I'm afraid of noisy storms, Rufus admitted. He, he was so ashamed. He wanted his friends to think of he was big and brave. But Ava and Joe didn't make fun of him. It's okay to feel afraid, Rufus, Ava said. Everyone gets scared sometimes, but God watches over us when we're afraid. We can trust God. Rufus inched to the edge of the stable and looked outside. Dear God, sometimes I get afraid. Please help me to trust you when I'm scared. Amen. Rufus opened his eyes and looked at his friends. He felt a little better. Then he saw something leaning in the corner of the stable, and he got an idea. Look what I can do, he said. Wow, said Ava and Joe. Rufus felt like the bravest puppy in the world again. And that's the end. So I wonder what you are afraid of and what do you do that helps you to feel better when you're feeling afraid? Oberon here likes to come and cuddle with either myself or with Chris, my husband, his dad. Um, when I get afraid, I really like to be with someone else and um, lean on them for comfort. And I really like Rufus's prayer at the end. Dear God, sometimes I get afraid. Please help me to trust you when I'm scared. Amen. Someone like me who really likes somebody else to be with them when they're feeling afraid, I think it's really important to remember that God is with us, even when we're scared. 
So we're going to put Rufus in the scary storm over here. Um, and we're going to read one more book. And let's see if we can get Obi to stop licking his bed and to come read with me. Hey, do you want to come here? Come here. Come sit up. Sit. Can you shake? Good boy. Okay. So we're going to read one more story about storms. This one is called Stay Through the Storm. And this is about two friends who are um, about, who were playing outside when a storm came rolling in and um, how they got through their storm. So this is called Stay Through the Storm by Joanna Rowland and illustrated by Lorraine Two. What, you get one? Treat and you walk away. Oh, he found the rock. Yeah, the one that I was using to meditate yesterday with the adults. Hey, look at that. Come read with us. This is a beaming book. Okay, there's a storm coming. It's brewing in the distance, heading our way. But stay, stay through the storm. I'll be with you. I'll hold your umbrella. We'll find your warmest coat in your shiny rain boots. We'll splash through puddles. And when the wind begins to blow, we'll run inside. So stay, don't leave me. I'll stay with you. As the rain pours down on the roof, we'll sit by the fire sipping hot cocoa and play our favorite game. And when the storm picks up and bolts of lightning flash across the sky, you might wonder if it will ever end. But stay, stay through the, so through the storm. I'll be right here. We'll be safe together. I like this picture. She wraps up in a cozy blanket to be comforted. I like that. When the thunder roars, we can make a fort and count the seconds between the lightning and thunder. So we'll know whether the storm is close or far. That's a good idea to count the seconds to see how close the storm is. We can maybe track how it's moving that way. I like that. And when you're scared, you can tell me. I get scared sometimes too. Stay with me. And when the wind howls and all the lights go out, we'll find flashlights. So stay, you don't have to be alone. I'll stay with you through this storm and the next. And when the storm passes, we'll go outside and find a rainbow arching all the way across the sky. Do you see the rainbow in this picture? I heard that there is a double rainbow this weekend after that really big storm that scared Oberon. Did you get to go see it? 
Most, but most of all, we'll find that we were stronger because we stayed with each other. I like that. We're stronger because we stayed with each other. And before the next storm comes and the darkness blocks the light again, we'll make a promise to be together. Stay with me and I'll stay with you. We'll never be alone. The end. That was stay through the storm. So what did you learn in our stories today? Hmm. What are you afraid of? And, and did you learn anything from how these characters dealt with their fears about storms? And, and what you might be able to do to feel brave when you're afraid? Hmm. I really like this story here because the friends promise to be there for each other, to comfort one another, and help them to feel okay when they were afraid. I like that a lot. Is there somebody in your life who you can turn to when you're afraid? Maybe it's your mom or your dad or one of your brothers or sisters or a really good friend or even your dog who might be as afraid as you are, but at least you're in it together. Hmm. Another thing that I really liked is that they were able to talk to one another and share what they were afraid of. And I think that can be really helpful because when we hold our fears in, no one can be there with us to help us get through them. But when we say what our fears are, then our friends can show up for us and they can help us through them. I think that's really cool too. Hmm. And last but certainly not least, what we learned from Rufus is that we can turn to God when we're afraid too. And sometimes praying can help us to feel better when we're afraid. So we're going to share a prayer together from the Common Prayer for Children and Families book. Oh, no. I think I have to yeah, okay, good. That's why you always have a backup bookmark. Okay. And this is a prayer for safety, which I think can be really helpful. So will you pray with me? God, whose glory fills the whole world and who is with us wherever we go, protect us in our daily lives and travels. Surround us with your loving care. Guard us from every danger and bring us safely into the day's end. Amen. All right, well, thank you very much for joining Oberon and I for story time. Um, he stuck around for the first one, so that was pretty good. Um, he's laying on just the other side of the camera now, of course. But uh, we'll be back on Thursday to um, share a Bible story with you all and to do um, a little spiritual practice for children and family. So I invite you to come and join me for that. Um, otherwise, I hope that you have a safe and joy-filled day. And yeah, I think that's about it. All right. Oh, good thing that's electric. So may the peace of Christ be with you this day and every day. Amen. <laughs>